without ring. Yeah. I just want to look traditional. Yeah, for student. For students. Yeah, yeah definitely. Student styles. Stu when people think of Dubai, they think of the, the modern skyscrapers and, and the development and the technology that's happened here in the past, like, it's only 41 years old. But when I wanted to see Dubai, I wanted to visit the old school Dubai, the roots where it started, so I can actually see where it's come from and how it's developed. There's so many similar ideas and projects that are happening around the world. So anyone who's involved in the movement scene, they all kind of want to unite. And I almost feel like it's my responsibility to, when I travel now, to tell these people what I've seen and what I've heard and what the rest of the parkour community is up to. I like to explore things and related to parkour because parkour is such a new sport and I can see how it's developing and changing from a global point of view as I'm traveling the world and I can see that it is still unexplored itself. I can imagine parkour being so different and to what it is today in another 50 years time. It's not really about getting out here and doing amazing performances. I knew that I was going to meet the local guys. So that, that's what it was about for me, just meeting the guys, jamming with the locals and trying to learn something. Bastakir is the oldest residential area in Dubai and as you can see it, it looks like the kind of place that has been built in the desert. It's scary to do parkour here because it's hard to try and trust these places. You've got the wood that's so old that you, don't, you want to swing on it but you don't quite trust it. It's all sandy and to me that's another challenge, you know, if I can figure out how to adapt my style to here. it's not that old you know up until 41 years ago this place was just desert populated by Bedouins uh, who, who used to run day farms and fishing villages and and you can see now it's like the heart and soul of the Middle East how much it's developed and in a similar way parkour is still developing so I can relate it to kind of what I'm feeling with the whole free running thing because as Orson Walls says you know, the enemy of art the absence of limitations and I feel like parkour is still like unlimited and it's only progressing as the environments progress. And this place progressed so fast in such a short space of time, it's still progressing. We can't predict now what it's gonna be like in the future, but I hope I can influence how it's gonna develop just to be part of, of, of that global jam and say, I, I helped unite the community. 